today guys I'm gonna show you how to roast a breadfruit right breadfruit are meant to roast you can cook them as well but today we are roasting on breadfruit right um, let me show you we have a a big breadfruit tree in our yard here so I already picked two already right so we're gonna roast Roast them so I'm gonna try to set up the fire here now. Yeah, so when I set by the fire, I'll come back to you because can't catch a fire with holding the camera. Okay, okay, guys, fire, I'll get the fire going. Didn't take me too long, you know what I'm But we're to catch up still. So we'll get the breath fruit and come back. Yeah. Fry looking good, didn't we? Okay, the breadfruit is in the fire and the fire is going. So, in the meantime, see, this is how we roast the breadfruit. We put on the stem, we roast the stem first, and after now, we will put them on the bottom to roast after that. And after that, now we'll just spin them around with it overall roasting so as the fire go in I'm still gonna chop up some wood still because being careful that I get burned down so yeah yeah the fire is blazing no oh boy trust me breath for them roasting now. yeah That's fine, man. Flame, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a fire right there. Yeah. That's a fire right there. Yeah. So after just keep running to it, and when it finish, turn on the bottom. But this heat here, now it is heat. Because I grew roast in a couple of minutes. Then it's take long. A lot of heat right there coming up. It's just a lot of heat. Yeah guys, yeah guys, I'm still here. The fire is going, going. The fire is keep blazing, and of heat right there, boy. Trust me. The heat. Yeah, yeah. So I also keep monitoring it, and after all, when the fire is gonna cool down, I turn it over on the other side, the bottom, the other rows. Yeah. So it is simple and easy. Uh, I don't know if you could see them guys, but some jack spaniels in the house. All this smoke. The smoke kinda you understand make them uncomfortable and thing, eh? Yeah. Kinda wild now. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. Jack's when they're all over. Yeah, guys, it's still here with the fire. The fire barefoot is still going. Real heat and a breath 
trust me. Yeah, I want to turn them, but can I get to cool still fire because it's so hot? It's so hot in the fire right now. Okay, I'm going to cool still to turn them. Okay, put them jack spiders in any table. See you. Let me show you. See the jack spider nest there. And they have like and a jack spider and the smoke. The smoke is suffocating them man. Serious. They're suffocating me as well, I need to. I swear if you turn now, now. I'm going to turn them here like he did. So I try to turn them and now get back to you. Yeah, guys. I already turned over the breath with them. Turn them up on the bottom. I'm going to put some more on top of it. So we we'll want to tap as well on the bottom as well. Got plenty of sheets. You need there. So, yeah. So I have to keep turning them. What in my eyes? Yeah, we're for them looking good now. Could turn again. Try to turn them again. Yeah. Can't get up on his side now. Want to get up on his side. So we're also on this side properly. Yeah. Let's turn them again there. So let's have a lot of heat underneath. So let's take a time and the wind right the breeze. The breeze is helping the fire to catch because as you can see the wind is blowing the breeze and feeding the fire. So they have to do much with the cardiac breeze coming in from the side here so, and catch the fire. So I don't have to do much of fanning or anything. So you see, a lot of heat underneath. So really do take them time. This is how you do breath. Do breath. You either roast it or you steam it or cook it. Understand? This is how we do it, or you cook it in a little boil up or something like that. But roast bread fruit, the best. Yeah, as I was seeing there, most people see on Facebook and YouTube, they eat the bread fruit like uncooked or on roast. Rah! But that's the way, this is the way how you do it. Still here, guys, with the fire. I'm listening to food, man. Yeah. Almost done. Just gonna get one more ton and just let the um, soak. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I have to run out. See all the smoke down there. Yeah, boy, it's suffocating me with my eyes. Running water, kind of thing, man. Very smooth, trust me. 
Okay guys, it's about done right now. As you can see, they are white. So I'm about to take them out now. And they're about done. Yeah. So when I finish now, I'll show you the, the end product right here. Okay guys. Okay guys, these are the finished product right now. The breadfruit are already done roast and stuff like that. See them right here. I can't roast it too much, I can burn them up and take Yeah, just some of the fry there, so you have some heat in the fry there On the fry side there Heat there, so This is a finished product, yes, this is how you we roast the breakfast down here in Vinci You understand? And this, these breakfast collected like breakfast and catfish Smoke herring or breakfast and mackerel You understand? You could do shoot chicken with it uh, You know, some shoot talk yeah, or something that, you know. I could just do breakfast alone myself. I mean, yeah. You understand? So, this is how we use breakfast here. But today, I think we're using stew chicken today. So, yeah. Breakfast soup. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video here. It's the end of the video here. So, this so now it shows you how I do this breakfast down here. Vince, you think so? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. And please like and always comment. Just comment a breakfast dish of your choice in the comments. You understand? Know Missy style or Caribbean style. Because other people just do different things with breadfruits. Because after a while, you breadfruit them still, you can. You can fry them after a while still. You can fry them and eat them still so they can't spoil. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and catch you in the next video. Vince style.